All right, let's do something we haven't done before. We're actually going to do a uh, toy hunt and see what we can come up with. I'm going to jump into Toys R Us here first, and we'll uh, see what we can come up with, see if we find any new Coco or Cars 3 uh, cases. All right, so let's check this first part uh, of Toys R Us when you walk in in the entrance. I'm pretty sure they've got some Lightning McQueens in stock. <laughs> uh, I took a look through these real quick. And it's mostly just the uh, the standard uh, Mac and uh, Chet, Gil. We've seen some of those around for a little while. They do have some of the uh, Jetta toys of the Dynaco Cruz Ramirez, Lightning McQueen, Jackson Storm. Uh, they have the motorized garage. I actually saw this. This is actually really cool. Service station. I hadn't seen this before. I haven't been out in a while because we just got back from Disney. So I wanted to check this out, but yeah, that seems pretty neat. A little service station that you can, it's pretty heavy. It's like, I don't know how much this thing is. It's neat. All right, so back in the standard cars aisle, let's take a quick look and see what we can find here. I did do a quick pass throughout these, and yes, it is Cars 3 Lightning McQueen, Cars 3 Lightning McQueen, and more. They only have some other standards, Natalie Certain, uh, Mater, those kind of things. The one that was cool is that they did have the brand new Holiday Sarge, so Sarge with roof lights. Excited to have that one to the collection. So we'll be doing that. Outside of that, standard sets that we've seen before, Smokey, and then the Primer Lightning McQueen with that accessory that you can only get there. Hello. Um, outside of that, <laughs> we've got some others of the Precision Series singles. Uh, it's just Fillmore. Uh, Lightning McQueen, Mater, Sheriff, yeah, standard stuff. Other than that, Jada Toys cruising Lightning McQueen. Let's see if there's anything else. Talking Smokey, Crunch and Crash RV. I have seen this before. The Mac Lightning McQueen Buddy Pack. Love it. Want it. Uh, a CD player. Outside of that, I did look over here for some of the Coco toys. I figured they'd be on this aisle, but they do not have it. I did see the amazing Talking Zerg. I shall rule the universe! <laughs> cool down, cool down, Zerg. <laughs> the galaxy will be under my control. No one can save you now. So what I do still wish is that they made a signature collection of the Toy Story line of Zerg. I would absolutely buy anything Zerg related and I think a lot of people would love to add that to their collection. Outside of that for the talking ones, they do have these figures. So Rex, Jesse, Woody, Buzz. I saw those that were here. They don't have Jesse in stock here, uh, but they're actually really, they're really cool. So check those out if you're out in the Toys R Us world. Uh, but I'm definitely excited to find Sarge with roof lights and I'm gonna go uh, pick this guy up. I was just about to check out and then I saw this Coco activity kit. It's like glitter pages and then they give you a set of markers that you can color them and then some tattoos as well. This is super cool. So these are the different pages that are included. It's $10. That's really neat. So after I saw that art set up front I got inspired to ask and I found they had in the art section of Toys R Us a stamp art set which is actually pretty neat. Uh, so they had some of the different, almost like banner art, but it's actually just really more stampers and cutouts, but it kind of reminds me of the, the banners, the Picano banners, and then the different ink there. And then they actually also have, pretty neat, a plaster paint activity set. So they have uh, four different of the sugar skulls, and then they have the different paints. So take a look for these hitting stores now too. Pretty cool, we'll see what else we could find. And they've got stuff all over the store. So this one's 50 tattoos, two pens that you can color them. So you just put the tattoos on and then you can color them in. All right, so Toys R Us was kind of a success. We got some good uh, finds there. I was actually surprised to find as many of the Coco art supplies and sets. Uh, still haven't found any of the action figures. We're still gonna be on the hunt for those. But uh, all in all, camera, hand, happy we found the, uh, the new Sarge. Uh, that we needed for the holiday series. Com almost completing the set. Let's get some of those reindeers now. 
All right, we're gonna run into a Walmart now and see what we can find here. Hopefully some, uh, some good cars or cocoa stuff. Okay, so as soon as I walked into Walmart, I ran across these, which are two Halloween coloring activity and sticker books. Now this particular one on the right comes with some crayons and some stickers that it has in there. Now this one though, the, the drawings are actually just the regular drawings. They're not uh, Halloween inspired or anything like that. They just change the story at the top. And your winner though is actually this one here because if you're looking for a coloring or activity book that actually has Halloween themed things, it has a little car story at the beginning, almost like Mater in the Ghost Light. And then once you get into the coloring pages, they are actually all Halloween inspired. So this is a must grab in my opinion. My son is gonna eat this up. So I'm picking this one up for sure. Okay, as you come back further in the store, you'll find some or Christmas ornaments that are out. And you can see that there is a Cars inspired uh, Mater, uh, Christmas inspired Mater with his winter hat on, a Buzz Lightyear, Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head, although they're not officially branded as Toy Story, but still cool to add them to the group. There's a, a different style Lightning McQueen, and then they also have a Dory and Nemo ornament that you can add, so pretty cool. On the other side of the aisle, they had a Lightning McQueen and Dynaco Cruise Ramirez ornament. That is a very cool addition. Okay, so I've come back to the main cars aisle, and I can already see right off the bat that they have some of the newer, uh, with the synthetic rubber tires, some of the demo Demolition Derby guys, and there's actually one that I'm still looking for. So I have Superfly Jambalaya Chibichanga, <laughs> love that name. Chester Whipple filter. Um, that one, uh, nope. uh oh, dropping them now. Looking for liability. Oh, there's Bill. I'll we'll have to show Bill here real quick. Bill is awesome. Bill is obviously the Pixar ball and Pixar inspired one that he is, has the number 86, the year that Pixar was incorporated. So I've actually already got two of those because I, I kind of have to have one always ready to go. Um, another Bill, another Bill. An airborne, there is liability. I really wish, yeah, check it out. So that's a grab. Almost Buzz Lightyear inspired there. Let's see, we had one more on the back. Another liability, and another Chester Whipple filter. So cool. I, I always, whenever I buy cars, I always have to get them. As many of them I can that I don't have, I look at them and I make sure I pick the best looking one. Outside of that, it appears to be standard to what's been out for a little while. I'll just keep taking a look and I'll let you know if I find anything else that's new. All right, side note, I was getting ready to leave and I just happened to come by here to see if they happen to have cocoa band-aids because they usually always have a branded band-aid that comes out for each film. And they had these uh, emoji-based ones. So they have some, obviously you can see some Mike Wazowski, Dory, uh, looks like they have something with Sully on there too. So these are kind of neat, just wanted to point those out. All right, I'll call that a success. Uh, between the last of the Demolition Derby cars that I needed that are available and out right now, as well as the um, coloring book and activity book, I'll call that a win. What do you say we go to Target now? Okay, bye. Gotta get clean while you're out. Time to get a car wash. Let's see what we find at Target. All right, so back on the cars aisle, I can see that they had some of the newer boxes because they have the little bonus mini poster signification on there, but uh, didn't find too much else other than the new Splash Racers. I hadn't, I hadn't seen these designs before. I mean, I've obviously seen the cars before, but I hadn't seen the Fabulous Lightning McQueen and the Dynaco Cruise Ramirez one. They've had uh, some of the others before, the standard Lightning McQueen and Jackson Storm, but it's kind of cool to see those. But that's really all I saw here. The Jada Toys Fabulous Lightning McQueen, Ultimate Lightning McQueen, always cool to see on the shelf. Uh, transforming Mater toy, but yeah, other than that, it's pretty standard stuff here. You can tell Target's getting ready for the holidays. They're getting the big boxes of different play sets in. So the Ultimate Florida Speedway, my nephew has this. It is pretty darn cool. It's five feet, over five feet long, and uh, the cars go zipping around the corners. Like has a little motorized thing there, shoots them around. So if you haven't seen this in stores or online, definitely check that out too. Really neat.
What do you say we give a second target a try? Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Upon first glance, it appears all mostly standard stuff. They have some of the smoky with the long bed, the, the longer bed of his truck, which is cool. Um, but as far as the cars themselves, We had the single of this, I already have that one though. Nope, standard stuff. Moving on. All right, what do you say we try the next Toys R Us? Let's see what we find. All right, here's the first section within Toys R Us and it seems to be a similar story as far as that there's a lot of Cars 3 Lightning McQueen available. And there's the, like we found the longer bed, there's the, the first release that came out for Smokey with the shorter bed on his truck. Uh, yeah, Nitro Aid, standard, standard stuff as far as for these here. Let's check the back section and see what else we can find. They've got a lot of the two packs of the Fabulous Lightning McQueen and standard Cars 3 McQueen, but let's see what else we find in the back. All right, so I'll save you the trouble. I actually went through and really nothing nothing new. These two fabulous Lightning McQueens that they have on the rack here. I actually, just for curiosity, because if you remember from the video I did of my fabulous Lightning McQueen, he has metallic red rims, and I wanted to check all these, and they actually have all the flat red rims. They do have this one, which is uh, a little less common to find, the Dirt Track Fabulous Lightning McQueen, where he just has the extra dirt uh, above his wheel wells there. Um, but other than that, it's all... The same stuff we found, I even kind of double checked as far as top stock that's up there, looked up and down. This location, I always laugh, they've had these forever. This, uh, the submarine fin, McMissile, every one, every one of those all the way back is all the submarine fin McMissile. They must have been like the, the unload store for them. So there's like six pegs and then there's some over here. So anyways, nothing else here. We're going to hit up uh, one more Walmart and one more... Actually, maybe two more Walmarts. We'll see. Surrender, Buzz Lightyear. I have one. I just had to push that one again. All right, we're going to try another Walmart now. I'm, I'm feeling cautiously optimistic that there's going to be some cars here. We'll see what comes in. I'll let you know. All right, so this one was a deceiving stop because you look at all these and they're all full pegs. You think maybe it's the new case, but it, no, it definitely wasn't. They did have the uh, the funny talking Louise Nash, though. That's right, and once we got on the track, we didn't want to leave. Or funny talkers. Ain't that the truth? And the only other thing I'll point out is just as far as between the, they had the Thunder Hollow gift pack as well as the race for the Piston Cup five pack as well. But if you're looking at the variants as far as the Chester Whipple filter, the original one that came in the pack with Luigi and Guido, he actually has like a shiny finish. The one that's the Demolition Derby, he has the, it's like a flat finish with the rubber tires. And then the one that actually comes in this uh, five pack as well, he has the flat finish. Um, his eyes, if you can see in there, are a little different than in the original as well, but not too much of a difference. So anyways. On to the next. All right, thanks for hanging with me today and uh, riding along as I get some chores done. I had to get oil changed and get a car wash and all those kind of fun things, but figured I'd go uh, do some hunting in the meantime. I'm at my final Walmart. Let's see what we find. Hopefully uh, one last gem before we can close out the night. Okay, bye. <clears throat> well, I did the final look over at all the different cars. The deluxes, any even of the crash, uh, the Crazy 8 Crashers series, any of the singles or doubles, and they were all ones that had been released before, so nothing new, nothing up top. Uh, they did have one other end cap over here before that had a whole bunch of cars on it, but they were all standards before. Let's see if anything has changed. I mean, like, Look at how packed this end cap is. It's an awesome end cap. It gives you so much hope. But I've been looking the last couple times and they've all been stuff that's been previously released. Uh, let's see if there's anything that appears new. 
This is a cool way with the tray. You can just pull it out and look. Nope, everything appears to be the same stuff as before. Well, like I said, thanks for riding along. Hopefully this was a uh, interesting adventure to see what we found. Um, hopefully there, well, not hopefully, there will definitely be more Coco stuff coming soon, so stay tuned and we'll, we'll keep doing some of these as long as you guys like them. Let us know in the comments. All right, talk to you later. <laughs> Don't mind the crying baby in the background. All right, signing off as usual from PixarPost.com. I'm TJ, and be sure to stay tuned to our site all week for the latest Pixar news. Bye-bye.